Kate Middleton may be royalty when it comes to fashion. The Princess of Wales loves a high street find, just like you and I. She often wears outfits over and over again. Why wouldn't you? Is that something that you love? And she isn't afraid to, on occasion, blur the boundaries and experiment with their fashion style. There's nothing more boring than stepping outside in the same old ensemble, don't you agree? Whether you're a Kate fan or not, you can't deny the girl loses style. And whilst we can't quite afford her designer separates or elegant kutcher gowns, we've rounded up a few of our favorite style choices that we can all learn a thing or two from. Particularly the little black dress. This, or LBD for short, is a staple in most women's wardrobes. It's something easy to throw on for a party, a random event, or even just a casual date night. The LBD isn't just for us commoners. The royal woman has worn some stunning black dresses over the years that have turned heads. Some of the gowns have even gone on to have lasting legacies of their own. It's a label she has turned to on multiple occasions, most notably when she first stepped out following the birth of Prince George. And tonight the princess dazzled in her favorite British designer, Jenny Packham. She looked resplendent. In a bespoke black dress by the brand, she helped catapult to international fashion fame. Kate joined Prince William at a lavish state reception thrown by Governor General Sir Jerry Mate Parade, the Queen's representative in New Zealand, at his official residence, Government House. As appropriate as ever, Kate had her dress hand-stitched with silver bedding to represent New Zealand's national emblem. She wore her hair in her trademark loose-flowing waves and complimented the gown with blue cord shoes, one of her style staples. The Queen has long employed the trick of incorporating an item of national importance in her outfits when on foreign tours, and it appears that the princess has now taken a leaf out of her book. This isn't the first time Kate has paid tribute to her host country. Kate famously wore a red hat decorated with maple leaves, the official symbol of Canada, on Canada Day during her visit there in 2011. Although that night was not a tire-worthy occasion, the reception is still one of the glitziest engagements of their three-week tour of New Zealand and Australia, and all eyes were on the dazzling princess. Black is not. That common clothing color for the royal family. Protocol dictates that black dresses usually be saved for funerals or other somber occasions. The modern royals have broken that rule several times. Not wanting to break too far from tradition, Kate always manages to look on point, keeping it stylish and sophisticated without overstepping the mark. She has to remain within the royal confines after all. But what's so great about the princess style, and something we can't help but admire? It's that she's a dab hand at mixing her favorite high street, finds with a few indulgent designer purchases, giving her distinctive signature stamp to every outfit that she wears. As the guest mingled, chatted, and sipped in chilled local wine, the Royal New Zealand Air Force Jazz Quintet played a selection of lively tunes, including Nana Simone. My baby just cares for me. William will later address the gathering with a short speech before unveiling a portrait of his grandmother by a New Zealand artist. The last time Kate wore a Jenny Packin creation was at a black tie gal at the National Portrait Gallery in February, having first worn it in October at a Kensington Palace dinner.